Welcome to the Box Center Wang Theater for World Read Aloud Day. We are so, yes, thank you. We are so excited to have so many friends here from Chelsea Public Schools as well as Boston Public Schools. So welcome for those of you who are here in person. We are also very excited that so many friends are joining us from all across the country for our live feed. So let's give, can we have a warm welcome to those of us who are joining us online? Can we get cheers for them? Thank you. My name is Corey Evans and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the Wang Theater. And we are very excited to have some very special guests here today. We have best-selling author, Peter Reynolds, who is going to share his very special book. Thank you. He is going to, to share his very special book with us called Happy Dreamer. And then we at the Box Center run a pretty fun education program here. And staff from the Box Center, my friends, Jesse and Tara and Sari are going to be sharing a workshop using this book with you. And those of you who are joining us online should have materials. Your teacher probably has some materials that can help you follow along with us from your classrooms. So without further ado, I am very excited to welcome you, Jesse and Tara, to take it away. Hello, good morning, everybody. I think we could do a lot better than that. Let's try it again. Good morning, everybody! Good morning! That is what I'm talking about. Welcome to all my friends here at the amazing Wang Theater. And welcome to all of our friends who are joining us virtually. You all look very ready to go. So thank you for being very patient and giving us your attention. My name is Jessie, and this is my friend Tara. And we are from the Box Center. And today we are presenting interactive readings and we are so excited to read one of our favorite books with you guys. Now we're going to ask you to listen and pay attention. And we're gonna ask you to help us with some of our ideas. Sometimes, sometimes, we're going to ask you to talk to a friend and sometimes we're gonna ask you to move your bodies, okay? Now before we get started, we still have one more one more friend on our team that you need to meet. Okay, so let me go get him really quick. This is my friend. This is Max. Can anybody raise their hand and tell me what Max is? Yes, my friend right in the blue here. A tambourine, that's right. Very good, friend. Max is a tambourine. Now, when you hear Max shake like this, that means it's time to stop what you're doing, turn off your voice, and listen for the next direction. Okay, let's practice. Everybody look around somewhere. Don't pay attention to me. Just look, look, mm -hmm, and... Oh, I love that you put your eyes right on me when you heard Max. Now, I love the hands, but we're gonna get to questions a little bit later. I promise we'll have plenty of time for you to ask questions today. Uh, but before we begin, I actually have some questions for you all. My first question is, raise your hand if you like to dance. Raise it really, really high if you like to dance. You do? Get out of here. I love to dance, y'all. I really love to dance. Do you like to dance, Tara? I love to dance. You love to dance. Well, we love to dance really, really fast. And we love to dance really slowly. And we love to dance really high up in the air. And we love to dance really low to the ground. OK, that's enough dancing. We'll, we'll get to more dancing later. Now, can you raise your hand if you love to sing really, really high? You have got to be kidding me. I 
love to sing too. Oh my God. I know, it's just too beautiful for you to even handle. Tara, do you like to sing? I like to sing too. Lovely, big round of applause for our singing. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now this is maybe our most important question. Raise your hand very high if you like to tell stories. <gasps> yeah, yeah, maybe you like telling made up stories. Raise your hand really high. I love rollerblading. Yeah, you love rollerblading, maybe telling stories about rollerblading. Maybe you love to go home and tell your friends and your family stories about your day, right? Your stories could be real or not real. That's excellent, friends, because that is exactly what the Box Center is all about. Right? It's a place where fantastic performers use music and dancing and storytelling and bring those things to the Boston community just like we're doing to you all today. Now raise your hand if you've ever seen a performance. Yeah, maybe you saw a brother or sisters or family members dance recital or you saw somebody playing an instrument or maybe you went to a library and you saw a performance there. Excellent! Awesome, you guys. It's so great that you've already seen performances. Well, actually, that's what we're going to be doing today. All of us in this room are be going to be using a little bit of music, a little bit of movement, and a lot of storytelling to give a performance in our hour together. All right? Now, if you can see and hear me okay, I want to make sure even my friends in the very back can see and hear me. Can you give me two thumbs up? Okay, well, now if you can see and hear me, can you put your hands on your head? If you see and hear me, can you show me your teeth? And if you can see and hear me, can you do a little dance? <laughs> nice, all right, it's good that you can see and hear me because now I'm gonna to talk to you about something important and it has to do with our story today, okay? This story is all about dreaming. Raise your hand if you've ever had a dream while you've been asleep. Yeah, pretty much all of us. And keep your hand raised if you've ever had a daydream. Maybe you catch your mind wandering away, thinking about all of the things that you'd like to do someday. Excellent. We can put our hands down. Well, friends, dreaming is what this story is all about, and we're going to hear about a lot of different ways that we can dream. So I have a challenge for you. When you're listening to the story, I want you to listen for things that you've done before. And you can show us that you've done them by tapping your shoulders, just like this. Can you show me tapping your shoulders? Excellent. Okay, we're going to practice now. Now, Tara is going to tell us about some of the things that she loves to do. And if you've done those things before, you're going to tap your shoulders to show us. Okay, let's try it. I like to play in the snow. Oh, a lot of snow lovers. <laughs> I like watching movies. Oh, good. I like reading books. Oh, I'm so glad to see a lot of book lovers. <laughs> and I like to eat ice cream. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we got almost everybody. Excellent, excellent friends. Thanks for telling us about the things you've done before. I actually thought that I was gonna bruise my arms when she started talking about reading books because that is one of my favorite things to do. So remember, when you're listening to the story being read, keep listening for the things that you've done before and you can let us know that you've done them by tapping your shoulders just like that. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, right? We get to read this story, but we have an extremely, very, very special guest to read our story today. In fact, he has a really special connection to this story. He actually wrote it, you guys. We have the author of this book here with us today, so please help me welcome our special guest, Peter H. Reynolds! Woo! Awesome. Wow, what a great introduction. It is wonderful to be with you all today on World Read Aloud Day. I want to say thank you to Lit World for uh, spearheading this amazing celebration of reading. But, you know, because you can read a book, you can read a book quietly to yourself, but you can open it up and you can read it aloud. And when you read it aloud, it kind of becomes, it's almost like a play. 
right? Has your teacher ever read to you out loud? And, and does he or she make up voices, right, for the characters? And sometimes you can even add music and you can even have people help, right, act the parts out. So it's kind of cool that we're here at the Box Center Wang Theater in Boston. Is this a beautiful theater or what, right? It's a place to celebrate stories. And so we're gonna bring a story to life today. And uh, I think you, oh, by the way, and I just wanna say Joe Spaulding, who's, he's the director of the team here. He's the leader of the team. He's sick today. So he's at home and hopefully he's watching. So can you say, get well, Joe? Get well, Joe. That is awesome. And hello to everybody out there. I, we, are, we are beaming out to the world, not just the United States, but we have people from around the world. So people around the world, make sure you tweet out and post where you were when you uh, participated with this really fun day. By the way, I was drawing a little bit earlier because I love to write, but I love to draw too, right? And so I was drawing some characters that I illustrate. I illustrate the Judy Moody series and the Stink series. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of Judy Moody or Stink, yeah? This is a really fun series written by Megan McDonald. And so she loves to write, but she needs a little help when it comes to drawing. So she asked me if I would illustrate right, to draw the pictures. And so I've been illustrating her books for over 20 years. And, and then I also collaborate, oh, I like that word. I'm a word collector, by the way, I love words. I collaborate with myself, mm -hmm. yeah. I come up with the idea, I write the words down, and then I ask myself, would you help me draw the, the ideas on paper? And so, I draw on paper. So how many artists do we have out in the audience? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. And do you know what? Everybody is an artist. That's my secret. You might know my book, The Dot, yeah. right? So The Dot, which celebrates 20 years this year, right? It's been published for 20 years on September 15th, which is International Dot Day. And I know a lot of people out there uh, celebrate International Dot Day. Last year we had 100 and over 190 countries celebrate International Dot Day, which is a day to celebrate creativity. And we need more creativity in this world, right? So I wrote a book um, called Happy Dreamer, which is about creativity. And it's, it's also about me. This is a book about me. So if you want to get to know me better, read this book because in school, I was a happy dreamer. I still am a happy dreamer. I think we need more happy people and we need more dreamers. I have a brother, Paul, who's hiding back there helping us with the show. And Paul is actually my twin. He's my twin brother. He's 14 minutes older than me. And they call us identical twins, but do you know what? We're not identical. It's just a name they give twins, right? Who share the same DNA, but Paul's different and I'm different. And every single person here is unique. And I want you to celebrate how unique and how cool you are, right? There's only one Grace, and there's only one Sienna, right? And there was only one Peter H. Reynolds, and he wrote this book. And would you like me to read this to you? Yeah. All right, it is World Read Aloud, after all. I also want to say thank you to Scholastic, my publisher. They, they are big supporters of World Read Aloud Day, and they also published this book. How did you get famous? How did you get famous? Well, you, you, you publish lots of copies and you share it around the world and lots of people get to read it. All right, Happy Dreamer by me. I am a happy dreamer. I'm really good at dreaming. Daydreams, big dreams, little dreams creative dreams. Dreamer Maximus. Sometimes though, the world tells me, sit still, be quiet, pay attention, focus. Does your teacher ever have to remind you to do that? Yeah. They, they had to remind me a lot. Paul was very good at focusing, but I was, I was a bit of a daydreamer. But my dreams, they have a mind of their own. 
Sometimes my mind just takes flight. I hear a beep and I gotta move. Then I hear another and another. I wish you could hear inside my head. Trumpety zigzag jazz. Sometimes I'm a quiet dreamer. When I make time to stay still and hear myself think, to let go and see what takes shape. Do you see that? Wow. Sometimes I'm a swing high dreamer, way up, beyond the clouds, so high I can touch the sky. I can also be a loud dreamer. Hello world, can you say that? Because right now you're saying hello to the world because we're beaming out around the planet. I'm a shout at the top of my lungs dreamer. Even if it's, even if I'm just a loud inside my head dreamer, right? Some people, some people are very quiet. Like my twin brother was very quiet when we grew up. And I was the spokes twin. Um, but Paul learned to, over time, he got braver and braver and then he shared his voice with the world. Sometimes, I'm a colorful dreamer, painting my own path, full of surprises at every turn. I can dream even when the lights are out, all circuits on, fireworks. I light up, I'm all ears, eyes, heart, and mind. Right, His fireworks are pretty. I, I have so many dreams, it can get messy. Creative chaos. That's the nice way to say that, right? Cleaning up hides my treasures. If you make me, I will put my things away. But then there is less me to show. These are the moments when I feel alone, boxed in. And yet I always find a way back. Plunging into amazing, delightful, happy dreams. I'm really good at being me. A dreamer, surprising, caring, funny, gentle, and smart. So a lot of nice shoulder tapping. And when I tumble back to earth, Right? When your dream is finished, it's, I know I'm okay. Because dreamers, dreamers have a way of bouncing back and moving forward. And at the end of the book, it says, there are so many ways to be a happy dreamer. What kind of dreamer are you? And this book is special because it opens up and it shows lots of ways of being happy and lots of kinds of dreamers. So like um, we have kindness happy, dance happy, sunshine happy, ice cream happy. I think there's a lot of ice cream happy people in here, right? And how about what kind of dreamers? How about, um, how about uh, a stage dreamer? Who wants to be on stage? Yeah, some of you? Yeah. How about uh, daydreamer? Do we have daydreamers? Mm -hmm. How about big dreamers? Who's going to dream big? Mm. Highly, highly recommended. Um, how about space dreamer? Who's going to go on into outer space? Do we have any astronauts? Yeah? Excellent. I, I'd like to go to Mars with you and start the first art uh, colony there. All right, we'll all bring our art supplies. But the best way to be a happy dreamer, just be you. Which is why this book is dedicated to you. Mm -hmm. Everybody, if you read this book, I dedicated it to you. And at the very end of the book, I've got a little, I have a little message. Um, and it's a picture of me when the book was done almost coming up on 10 years ago. I am a dreamer. I always have been. Not all grown-ups were happy with my dreaming, my zigzaggy brain, but some were. And 
My parents, well, they let me be me. And they loved me. And things worked out pretty well. And that is Happy Dreamer. Thank you. So thank you for letting me share this book with you and everybody out in, in the audience. Thank you so much. And again, you can take a book, you can read it quietly, you can read it aloud. You can also activate the book. And to activate the book, that means you can dive in and you can make this book do amazing things. It can, it can inspire you to, to move, right? And to draw and to dream. So I've got my friends who are going to rejoin me on stage and they are going to activate the book. So happy World Read Aloud, everybody. Thank you. Awesome. Wow, wow. I, I think we need to give another thank you to Peter. Yeah, actually, has anybody ever heard of the word opera before? Have you heard of an opera? A couple of people? So when you sing opera, you take a very deep breath and you use your full voice to sing out. And I think Peter deserves a big operatic thank you for reading that awesome story. So when I say three, let's give him a big opera thank you, okay? One, two, three. Thank you! Wow, that was awesome. Fantastic. Thank Great you. job, friend. Thank you for using your voices in that way. You know, I have to tell you, I love that story. If you love that story too, can you show me by very softly clapping your hands together like this? Oh good, I'm so glad you liked it. And thank you for being such an excellent audience. You know, I loved hearing about some of the things that you've done before and you showed me by tapping your shoulders. Very well done, friends. You know what, let's take a moment and I'll have you turn to somebody next to you and tell them about something you remember from the book that you've done before. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Turn to a friend and tell them about something you've done before. <laughs> Amazing, good job friends. Can you grab Max for a second? <laughs> and let's bring our attention back. I think we need our friend Max. Excellent job. Now, in a moment, I want you to turn to a friend and tell them something you remember from the book that you haven't done before, but that you're really excited to try. Okay? Go ahead, turn back to your friend. Tell them something you haven't done, but you're excited to try. Excellent job, friends. Thank you so much for sharing. You know, friends, I love this book so much, I just want to read it again. Okay, I want to read it again, but this time I really need your help. If you're willing to help me, I think we need to use our bodies and our voices to bring this story to life, right? We need to activate it. We want to jump into the book and be a part of it, right? Now, I just... I. For this, I need to remind you about my friend Max, okay? So when we're listening to the story, I'm going to pause and tell you about some things that we can do to activate the story. But when you hear Max, remember, I need you to turn off your voice to stop what you're doing and listen for the next set of directions, okay? Should we try it? Yes. Okay, so I'll ask everybody to stand up. Excellent. And I need everybody to put their eyes on me, turn off their voices, and listen. Because we're going to do this again, but we're going to get a little bit silly with it, okay? All right. This is Happy Dreamer by Peter H. Reynolds. I am a happy dreamer. I'm really good at dreaming. Daydreams. Big dreams, little dreams, creative dreams. Okay, friends, show me with your body how big you can dream. How big can you make your body? Really, really, really big. And 
show me how little you can dream with your body. How small can you be? Okay, now show me how creative you can dream with your face. Great job, everybody. Dreamer Maximus. Excellent. We'll go to the next page. Sometimes the world tells me, sit still, be quiet. And the next slide. Pay attention, focus. All right, friend, let's practice being very still and very quiet with a game called Living Museum. Can you raise your hand if you've played Living Museum before? A couple of you? Okay, great, so this is how it works. Everybody, when I say go, is going to make a statue with their body, like this. Okay, you'll make a statue. And when I'm not looking, when I'm turned around, you can move your body to make different shapes. But when I'm looking, you have to stay very, very still. Don't let me see your statue move. Okay, ready? Everybody, make a statue pose. Hmm, very nice museum we have going on here. Some very interesting artwork. But what's this over here? What is that? I don't understand. Wait, what is happening? Did I, did I? Did I see something move? I, I must be losing my mind. I, I really wanted to see this over here. Wait, what was that? Very peculiar. Now, I just want to see this other exhibit up on the stage here. Wait! Wait a second. You're not statues at all. You're my friends. Okay, friends, enough. Very good job playing Living Museum. Let's go back to the story. But my dreams have a mind of their own. Sometimes my mind just takes flight. I hear a beat and I gotta move. Then I hear another and another. Okay friends, for this next part of bringing the story to life, my friend Tara is going to play a beat on the drumsticks. And in place, right where you are, I'm going to ask you to walk to the beat of the drums. And when the drumming gets faster, you'll walk faster, faster. And when it gets slower, you walk in slow motion. And as it gets faster, we run, 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 run. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was good exercise, my friends. All right, let's come back, turn the voices off, and come back to the story. What's next? Wish you could hear inside my mind. Trumpety, zigzag, jazz. We can go on to the next page. Sometimes I'm a very quiet dreamer. When I make time to stay still and hear myself think, to let go and see what takes shape. Do you see that? Friend, let's, let's have a whole 10 seconds of being very quiet dreamers. I'd like everyone to close down your eyes, stay very still, and think about all the things you want to do in the snow this winter. Very good job, friends. Let's come back to the story. Sometimes I'm a swing high dreamer, way up high, beyond the clouds, so high I can touch the sky. Friends, let's reach up as high as we can and let's see if we can swing all the way high, touching the clouds, past the clouds, out into outer space, 
past our friend Peter on Mars and working with his artist commune, and we'll go higher and higher and higher and slowly float back down. Excellent, friends. Let's come back to the story. I can also be a loud dreamer. Hello, world. I'm a shout at the top of my lungs dreamer, even if I'm just a loud inside my head dreamer. Friends, I have a challenge for you. In a moment, I'm, I'm going to ask you to tell me your name as loud as you can, wait, without using any sound. I'm going to show you what it looks like, OK? Ready? Did you hear me? No. But I was so loud inside my head, you won't even believe it. All right, I want you to try it. Tell me your name without sound on three. Ready? One, two, three. You guys, that was so loud. Oh my goodness. Great job. It's great to meet all of you. OK, let's go back to the story. Sometimes. I'm a colorful dreamer, painting my own path full of surprises at every turn. OK, let's pay attention to some of the colors in the room now. Friends, if you have red on your shirt, can you show me slow running in place? If you have red on your shirt, show me some slow running. And if you have blue on your shirt, can you show me jumping up and down? Nice. And if you have white on your shirt, can you, if you have any white on your shirt, so look down and see if you have any white. And if you do, can you show me your biggest belly laugh? <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys, too funny. OK, and if you don't have any white on your shirt, can you show me your favorite dance move? <laughs> Lovely. Nice job, everyone. Let's go back to the story now. I can dream even when the lights are out. All circuits on. Fireworks. I light up. I'm all ears, eyes, heart, and mind. Friends, show me your fireworks with your hands. Show me all the beautiful colors. Pew, pew. Very nice, very nice. All right, next page. I have so many dreams, it can get messy. Creative chaos. Cleaning up hides my treasures. If you make me, I will put my things away. But then there is less me to show. These are the moments I feel alone, boxed in. Friends, raise your hand if you do not like cleaning up your mess. Neither do I. But I'll let you in on a little secret trick that I learned to always keep a piece of my treasure with me. OK, I take a mind picture before cleaning up. And here's how I do it. I get out my finger camera. I find something in the room that I like very much. And I take a picture. And then it's in my memory forever. And then I can clean up my mess, and it's OK, because I'll always have this mind picture. So let's practice. Get our finger cameras out. We are all professional mind photographers. I want you to find something in the room that you want to remember forever and take a picture. And find something else and take a picture. And find something behind you and take a picture. Excellent. Let's not put our finger cameras away, but just put them in our pocket for later, because we can use them anytime we need to, right? All right, let's come back to the story. And yet, I always find a way back, plunging into amazing, delightful, happy dreams. I'm really good at being me. A dreamer, surprising, caring, <laughs> funny gentle and smart. And when I tumble back to Earth, show me your tumbling, 
I know I'm okay. Dreamers have a way of bouncing back and moving forward. There are so many ways to be a happy dreamer. What kind of dreamer are you? Friends, if you are a loud dreamer, yell at me your name one more time using as little sound as possible. Ready, set, loud dreamers, go! Excellent. And if you are a quiet dreamer, show me your best quiet and still statue. Excellent. And if you are a creative dreamer, which I know is all of you in here, I want you to paint me a beautiful picture in the air using your elbow. Get some mountains there, maybe a tree. Paint the ocean. Excellent artwork, everybody. You are all amazing artists. All right, we're almost finished with the book. Here are all the other kinds of dreamers that you can be. Hey, if you're a dance happy dreamer, dance with me. Dance happy dreamers. And if you are a love dreamer, can you put your hand on your heart? Show me that you're a love dreamer. And maybe you are a power dreamer. You're a power dreamer, show me those big muscles. <clears throat> nice, everybody, very nice. But the best way to be a dreamer, to be a happy dreamer, is to just be you. Which is why Peter has dedicated this book to all of you. Yes, you. All right, friends, let's come back down to our seats. Bring your eyes on me. I would love if you all could give a real round of applause to yourselves. Excellent. Thank you all so much for using your bodies and your voices and your imagination to bring this book to life. You are all excellent performers, really and truly. Now, before we move on to our last activity, I would love if you can turn to somebody next to you and tell them about what you dream about being when you grow up and tell them what kind of dreamer you think you'll be. Go ahead, turn to somebody next to you, tell them about your dreams. <laughs> All right, friends. Let's come back. Eyes on me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you telling your friends, telling me about what kind of dreamer you're going to be. You are all awesome dreamers. Now, before we go, I think that we need to play one last game. Yeah? yeah. Tell, if you want to play one more game, put your hands on your head. If you want to play one more game, put your hands on your heart. If you want to play one more game, show me your elbows. Nice, elbows, yeah, I like this group's elbows, really nice. Okay, friends, this game is called Freeze Dance. Wait, wait, have you guys played Freeze Dance before? You have, well, awesome. Well, just as a reminder for everyone here and everyone joining us virtually, Freeze Dance is a really simple game. When you hear the music play, what should you do? That's right, you want to be dancing. And when you hear the music stop, what should you do? Freeze. You freeze right where you are. That's right, friends. If you, we're not going to have anybody be out. I want everybody to be in. But if you are still dancing when the music stops, I'm going to point at you. I'm going to say, I see you. I see you. I see you. Right? So you want to make sure you're very, very frozen when the music stops. OK, should we try it? Okay, everybody up, 
and let's get that music started. Listen very closely. All right, here's the music. Let's do our dancing. everybody. What? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us for an amazing day. Let's take our seats so that all of your teachers can round you up and get everybody settled. But I just want to say one last thing, one last thing. Eyes on me. Eyes on me, please. Voices off. I want to say thank you so, so much for being here with us today. You all inspire me. You are all such creative, fantastic, amazing dreamers, and I want to be just like you, really. So thank you all so much for being you. I'll hand it over to Peters to say one last thank oh, yes. you. So yes, a big thank you, and, and can we get an, a huge round of applause for my two happy dreamers. Get up here, here on stage. They were amazing, amazing. I want to go on the road with you guys. You guys know We'll make how it to, happen. You My people to, will call your people. <laughs> Good. <Yeah. laughs> they know how to activate a book. So that was so much fun. And reading can be so much fun, right? It's not something you have to do. It's something that's really fun to do. And you can, you can, do you know what? You can also write your own book. Just a little reminder. Each one of you is writing a story. And it's the best story ever. It's your life story. So I wish that your life story is going to be amazing and stellar and be all about a hero. And do you know who that hero is? That's right, you guys. So, and also a big thank you to the teachers here and all the teachers out there. Thank you for all the hard work you do. Thank you for being happy despite everything and helping us dream. Thank you, everyone. And thank you to the Box Center, Wang Theater, and the entire staff here who make the magic happen every day. So thank you everyone and keep reading. Bye-bye. <laughs>